Well, McGregor has been sentenced to life imprisonment. That is the sentence for murder in this country. This has been a particularly difficult case for us to investigate, as you can imagine, you know, a two and a half year old child um, who's been completely brutalised in his own home um, by a powerfully built adult man who uh, should have been there to protect him, really. What we found out about Chavez McGregor as the investigations progressed is that he is a violent and you know, really controlling individual. Um, he is prone to extreme losses of temper at, like, with little or no notice. And the CCTV shows McGregor completely losing um, his temper, throwing himself on the floor and ripping his t-shirt from, um, from his body. These type of cases are always difficult because, you know, you expect that adults will look after children. You don't expect children um, of such a young age, well, any age really, to be brutalised in their own home. You know, the home environment should be, um, you know, caring, supportive, nurturing, and all of those things, really. Well, Jeremiah was actually killed. The fatal blow was uh, a punch or a kick uh, to his abdomen, to his stomach, which uh, burst his duodenum. Um, that resulted in, de in him developing peritonitis, which ultimately was the cause of his death. But he had some significant other injuries as well. He had an underlying brain injury, he had quite a complex skull fracture, um, and as we've heard in court today, the human bite mark to the uh, left side of his chest, along with a load of other bumps and bruises. But the really, you know, the really upsetting aspect to it really was those defensive type injuries to his hands and arms, where he's clearly tried to defend himself against uh, McGregor.